I just got the DJI mic right here, and here's the case. Open it up, and it came with, I've noticed other people had something with a zipper, another pouch with a zipper. This one is just a string pulley thing here, and then inside with the other accessories, I got some two uh, wind, wind, wind muffs, uh, 3.5 cable, and a USB USB A to USB C cable to uh, power the case, which is a charging case. And all I wanted to do, I've seen a lot of reviews of the DJI mic already, and all of the positive reviews are are true. This is a great, great system uh, the, of the the 2.4 gigahertz system. I don't think it really compares to the the radio mics, but in, uh, when you compare this to all of the other wireless, the digital wireless systems, this is this is up there. This is maybe maybe the best. Here's the Rode Wireless Go 2, which I thought was the best. Uh, Rode, I think, started the game with it with these, or at least they popularized it uh, with with this this frequency of receiver and this size. And I thought these were good internal recordings, all that stuff, but. You can see here all of the cables necessary in order to get this to work while this has no cables and the price points are very similar. Uh, you don't get this case here with the Rode. You get another case that's not as good and I'll put a link to all this stuff uh, in the description section so you can check it out if you, you want any of this stuff. But uh, I think it's better than the Rode Wireless Go 2. It has advantages that this this does not have. I also have this Pico mic, which I I like. I like the Pico mic. And when I want to go portable and I want to go direct on talent, nothing is smaller than these Pico mic transmitters here. They go right on the talent. E even the right here, the road mics, road wireless goes are are more of a square shape, uh, but the road wireless goes are thinner. Than the DJI, but the DJI mic here is pretty small, but not smaller than the Pico mic. Pico mic is still, what is that? Even maybe less than half the size of of the mic on the, that you would clip on the talent, click on somebody. The problem with the Pico mic is that first it doesn't record. It's not a recorder, but that's not really a problem. It's not a recorder, but just to to attach the receiver part. This is the receiver, which is big. This is like an iPod Touch that was discontinued, but it's uh, even bigger than an iPod Touch. And you need to, here's your, you put it here for your hot shoe mount. And this is pretty big. You, you need this in order to communicate to your camera. And if you have a small camera, like a pocket camera like this, this is, look at that. It's just, it's bigger than the, the camera. So that's a drawback with with uh, Pico mic. You need a bigger camera to to hold on to, to just to get the receiver. But this video, I just wanted to talk about using the DJI mic here with its USB-C connection. And I've seen it advertised connecting directly into the Osmo Action 2 and, and working right off the bat right there and also on smartphones and I wanted to test it to see if this would work when I'm using these cameras here and here's a GoPro Hero Black uh, 9 here's the 10 with the media mod here is a Insta360 ONE X2 the ONE X2 has a USB-C here. They, these all have USB-C's on it. And then the first Osmo Action, which has a USB-C. And I wanted to see if I plug this in to any of these USB-C's directly, will I? Will it work? Will it transfer the audio? This one's a little weird to connect to. Uh, anyways, I, I already did a test on, on these four cameras, and none of them work. Whatever the date is today, I, that's the most updated firmware of all, of all these devices, and it does not work on any of them. So if you were, if you have one of these cameras and you thought that, oh, now that I have 
this DJI that has USB-C connection, I could use it on any of these devices that have USB-C? No, it does not work. For the Osmo Action 1, which I thought out of all these cameras, DJI, DJI, you would think that they would be compatible, but they're not, at least not at the recording of this video. Maybe DJI will come up with an up firmware update that gives the Osmo Action 1 the ability to take this connection here. But what you have to do, here's a third-party adapter. This is the yeah, USB-C to 3.5 mil. Plug that in. And then you have to use the 3.5 out on the receiver here into that one and then then you could you could get it to get the audio signals same thing with the uh, GoPro here the GoPros there's another USB-C to 3.5 uh, adapter but on the media mod if you have the media mod up here uh, wait up here down here you have a 3.5 jack so what you do is you go out 3.5 into there and then you can get the audio it doesn't work. Here's another USB-C in the back. I tried this, but that doesn't work at all. And when I was plugging it in, I did a review of this Ulanzi attachment, the, this door attachment that has a cold shoe right there. But the, the place where the USB-C is, it actually won't fit on this. And a lot of the cages for these devices, this is just too shallow. It's not long enough to go all the way in past the cages. For example, if this were to fit, let's say it were to fit in there and, and work, I mean, and here's the cage for the Osmo. Oh, here's one one cage that I use. It's not, it's not officially uh, DJI. But if you put this cage on right here, you, it won't fit. It won't fit in there. You have to have a, like an extension, USB-C extension in order for it to fit. But anyways, that's the quick rundown of, of whether or not this is going to work on any of these cameras, and they do not. It just does not work on every single USB-C camera that has a USB-C input w with no audio input. You have to use the 3.5 jack and the adapters for all these cameras. I still like the DJI, though. This is still, so far, in my initial reaction of this, is, is pretty positive.